Hello everyone and welcome back to Old Mods Volcano Block. In the last episode, we automated our gravel over here. Now I'm walking in a specific way for a reason and I'll, I'll reveal it in a second. Um, but we set up this guy, which is, a, it's kind of like a water tower and actually, um, where, where was it? Um, Alter and Sed actually suggested a pretty cool design for the water tower just to make it, I guess, look a little bit better. Oh God, we've... Oh god. Also, yeah, I, I have no idea how the mud works. I'm just going to let that despawn. <laughs> um, but if we come over here, the idea was that I could break this, um, I guess with a pickaxe because it's stone, and then that can flow there. And the idea was to have it just go into the water there, or into the lava, I guess. So hold on, let me just cover that up so the water disappears, bring that back. And then that kind of looks nice. It actually makes it look like some sort of water tower doing something. I don't know. I, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and I mean, it works. We've obviously got cobble being generated. The cobble is going into a millstone, but this guy's, he's doing barely anything to be honest. Um, mainly the cobble's going into this guy, getting compressed. It is then going into a, sorry, it's not going into a coal generator. It's then going out of this pipe into a crusher, which is crushing the full compressed block. That is then going into this crafter as a compressed gravel, uncompressed and into the system. And the system, is what I've been avoiding looking at because it's making a bit of a mess and I gotta fix it. <laughs> so there's a few ways to fix it, right? Um, number one is probably putting um, void upgrades on this stuff. Now to do that is a little bit tricky. We're going to need a steady supply of lava. Um, we're going to need water or just a trash can. And I didn't really want to do a trash can, but I think temporarily a trash can is probably going to be our best bet here. Now, I will, you know what? I think I need three stone for this. So we'll just, we'll just go smelt it over here. And that should be fine. Now, obviously, yeah, th this is the thing I was talking about in the previous episodes in terms of if you're playing on a server, be careful. Make sure you have overflow protection because I'm just playing single player. I wasn't too fussed about, you know, potentially <laughs> obliterating my world. Um, but, you know, we're getting to that point. So uh, trash can will cost uh, cobble. It'll need a chest. Um, cobble, oh, he's all the way over there. I guess we can take out some stone pebbles. That gets the job done. Um, in terms of wood, I probably should set up some sort of proper wood farm because we're still just doing stuff manually. I, I sort of half set up a farm and then didn't, but I reckon, um, like you guys suggested back in that episode, probably just setting up some, uh, modular router to do that would be our best bet. So we'll see how we go. Um, so ba -ba 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 -ba, I'll make as many chests as it lets me. Cool. And that is now a trash can. So this guy, it should be pretty simple. Realistically, I just need to add him to the end of this line about as far as I can or to the front of the line and change the configuration on the pipe. So I'll see if I can do this. I'll try not to obliterate my inventory. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. I mean, you can also see where the ores are being or, or where the gravel's getting up to. We're only sort of using half of the uh, the spawner at the moment. In fact, I'm, I think some of this stuff's just despawning. Um, okay, so... This guy's full, sure. He's outputting here. We have a gold upgrade in here, which allows us to distribute based on distance and, uh, and round robin. You can do quite a few different things. I wanna do furthest first. So it will try to fill up the furthest inventories and then at the very end, the closest. And the closest is just gonna be a trash can. So now all the other inventories are full, which means it can only put stuff in the trash can. And so what we should see here is this, um, this place hopefully clear up. Um, so we can obviously watch this. You can see the stuff's moving. If we happen to grab something, oh, actually, you know what? It's kind of a bad thing. Mm, yeah, because it's going to literally get rid of everything, including um, stuff that we don't even have a draw for, which is obviously what we don't want. I, I guess that's why I wanted to avoid using that. So yeah, I've got this guy here, this chest that I made. We're gonna put stuff in there. Um, I'm going to farm some trees real quick because, uh, you know what? How many jungle trees do we have? I'd love to just chop down a quick jungle tree. You know what I mean? Just get all the wood that we need. Come on. <laughs> come on. All right. Four saplings. Four saplings. Come on. Come on. A single sapling? <laughs> uh, really? I should have crooked it. I forgot the crooks existed. Oh, but this is a, this is a disaster. This is horrible. <laughs> okay. It's fine. I'll just, yeah. It's fine. All right, chopped a good amount of trees. 
we'll quickly uh, get some stuff built. Um, so the first thing is obviously making some drawers. So we'll do like that. That should be good. Then it's making some planks. That's obviously plenty. And then just doing a little bit of this uh, with a little bit of that. Boom, boom. Drawers, awesome. Got those, cool. I'll, I'll just expand this guy, give him some, uh, some more drawers to work with. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and what are we, what are we looking at over here? Um, in terms of, well, actually, first of all, are any of these full? The flint is full. That, I mean, that's going to be a problem. Um, this guy's probably empty. Yeah. Um, which honestly is a problem. I'm going to pick up the trash can and grab him and then we'll, we'll start, you know, manually placing, um, storage places for these things that we currently don't have storage for. So iron will go there. And if I add a pipe, we should start getting iron in there. Cool. Um, I will, yeah. I mean, we're going to have to do, I, I think I will do void upgrades just to like take care of the flint. Now we have a few options for lava. Um, obviously <laughs> now option number one is we just pump the, the lava. Um, it's an option to do that. We would get a hose pulley from create. Uh, it would cost us a copper plate. We would need kelp. I'm sure there's a way to get kelp and then a copper casing, which is also fine. You know, we, we can make that happen. Then that's pretty much it. We set that guy up um, and we can just pull lava out of the, out of the lava. And the way create works, uh, depending on the config, a certain amount of fluid blocks is considered infinite and it won't even start like removing the lava to make it look visually disgusting. So we could set that up. Things would look perfect and bada bing, bada boom. Alternatively, I could just make a crucible and put cobble in it. Now it would be slow. We could use a warped or a crimson crucible or just make one out of some porcelain clay. Um, and this stuff would just make us lava if we put cobble in it. Um, not a bad idea, but I, I will say probably a bit of a dumb idea considering we've got lava, <laughs> you know, we, I, we have lava. It's not really a problem. So I'll tell you what, we'll start working towards this, uh, this here crucible, uh, crucible. No, the host pulley. <laughs> um, so to do that, obviously we're gonna need some copper and I mean, yeah, that's honestly probably enough. 16 copper. That'll get the job done. That'll be the plate, the casing. What was the last piece? Kelp. Now, if we're really lucky, we've gotten kelp. We're not really lucky. We haven't gotten kelp. <laughs> um, all right. Well, anyway, let's have a look. Dried kelp. Yep. Kelp, obviously it's smelted kelp. Um, so this stuff you get from sand in a mesh, apparently. Cool. I, for some reason, I thought it was going to have to be like a waterlogged. Um, oh, no, it is. Waterlogged sieve. Yeah. Okay. So we need our sieve that we're sieving sand to have water within it. So in other words, probably a different setup than, than that. Also, I should put, um, diamonds away, fluorite and appetite and osmium. <laughs> so we'll go check these guys in, uh, in one of these, you can go there, osmium can go there, appetite there, fluorite there. Okay. That should be good. Uh, obviously I need to then hook these guys up and that should be fine. They should receive all the goodies. Cool. Um, so yeah, kelp. I'm gonna have to make a mesh. I'm gonna have to make, um, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Okay. I mean, we can, we can do that. So obviously the better the mesh, the better. Um, did we have flint that we brought with for some reason? Nope. That's fine. Obviously I know a guy. Boom, boom, and boom. I could make them iron if we wanted to. I don't really want to, <laughs> but we could. Um, yeah, flint mesh. How much wood do we have? We've got a decent amount. Can I just make some sieves? What do they cost nowadays? A slab. So we go boom, 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 boom. I have a feeling that that's meant to go there with you and you. And that makes six. That's pretty good. We made seven of the stuff. Six is the stuff, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, 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 boom. And then I just need the good stuff. Now, in regards to the good stuff, I was actually hoping this guy would have a backlog of gravel, but we're making too much. So we just, we just simply don't. Um, there's a few ways to fix that. For example, I could just take the gravel out of this guy since he doesn't do much to impact the production there. We could instead have him impact just our ability to have gravel. You know what I mean? For example, he's got what? Four. I can wait for him to have six. I can just take that out. 
and then we can, you know, hammer that up separately. <laughs> and I don't know if that's worth it, but we'll see. Um, inventory is horrific as per usual. Let's go ahead and get rid of um, some of the stuff we don't. I'll get rid of the jungle. Ah, I'll keep the jungle. I'll do that and that. Anything else that needs to go? Ah, you win this round. All right, cool. Uh, sand, cool. And we're hoping for kelp. It was at the very top, so I would have thought that meant that it was the most likely to get, but we do not have it, so... Oh, I forgot to waterlog the stuff, man. All right, I'll, I'll tell you what. Let me <laughs> let me pick this stuff up. I'm going to expand the island and, and build somewhere else. We're, we're probably going to head out in that direction and set up a, a sieve over there with water in it, a waterlog sieve. You know what I'll say as well? I kind of miss having a chest that I can... Um, Deposit into you know what I mean to, to have this system hooked up. So I think I'll add this back um, I think that will work. Well set this guy to oh, uh, Set that guy to extract that stuff may have gotten. Oh, no. Okay. Phew. I thought I just lost all that stuff. That's fine. That'll go there Yeah, it should be good. Okay. We're back in business But yeah, I can obviously put stuff in here to send it off to be uh, meshed for example course dirt can go in there and that should work Maybe, <laughs> possibly. I mean, it's currently not, but why is it not? Am I, what have I done here? Coarse dirt, extracted, and it should go into there. And then it should just right click on an iron mesh. Can you not do coarse dirt in an iron mesh? Is that what I'm learning? Um, coarse dirt in a sieve with an iron mesh, yeah. That shouldn't be a problem. And yet here we are. Maybe I need to move him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Something about him being there just wasn't working. Whether I, whether it was a visual bug that it was extracting, I'm not sure. But regardless, what we should have access to now um, is, if I can jump correctly, a bunch of dirt. So yeah, in case you haven't caught on, I'm going to, um, what do we call it? Expand the island with dirt. That's... That's where this is going for, uh, in that direction. Because it does look a little bit better than the cobble. I could use a different block, but yeah, we, we may as well just use this. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I, here's the thing, right? I, I'm, I'll be honest, when I do these videos most most days, I'm, I'm half rushed, half not. You know what I mean? Like, especially like if I've got work and it's been like, um, like starting early and finishing late, as it has been the past you know month or so, um, a bit of it's taken away. Like, just then I thought, like, like I was instantly like, oh, what next? But it's like, hey, 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 relax, you know? Just, just chill out. The stuff will sieve and that'll be fine. Because, um, yeah, I think I think I miss a lot of stuff that happens um, just because I'm, like, rushing around a little bit. But at the same time, like, you know, although I can help some of it, some of it you can't really help. So, you know, as long as, <laughs> as, long as stuff happens, I'm pretty happy with the episode. <laughs> And as long as obviously I have fun doing it, that, that that's genuinely the main thing. I know a lot of people say that, but if you, if you've seen, um, I'm trying to think of a, a specific episode that just like, I didn't have fun. Honestly, most of the RL craft stuff early on fun. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but after a little while, it was like, I'm not really liking this. It's not really my play style. And I think the quality of the episodes just like, you, you can feel when it's just when I'm not enjoying it. Um, from just a gameplay perspective, not even from a content video perspective. Um, cause I, I think that has a different effect again, but yeah, if I, if I just, we, we, we can just take it slow and everything will be okay. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys get the idea. Um, I'm thinking we do that and we have this horrific danger zone right here. We can fence it off or something. That should be fine. Um, and we'll expand that there. Cool. Nice, so we've got a decent area over here that we can sort of work with and not be disgusted by. Um, so I need to waterlog these. So I'm just gonna place them like this. Um, the other thing would be building blocks, right? Um, if I can grab, oh, are we using all the cobble? Wow. We have, we, yeah, hold on. This guy's filling up with cobble. He's full of gravel, so that's fine. I think, yeah, what's slowing us down at the moment is just we don't have any cobble in the system. Um, okay. I mean, that's, it's not the end of the world. All right. 
Like, we've got too much stuff at the moment that I'm not really fussed about the lack of cobble, but um, that that is obviously a bottleneck we're going to have to deal with at some point. Um, I... Man. But I need it for building... <laughs> I need it for building blocks. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. All right. We, we can make use of uh, this stuff, some connecting tiles. That should be fine. We've got some... Uh, some stairs, we've got some connecting tiles. We can make this work. I'm thinking we do just a good old this. Maybe even just only that, you know what I mean? Then we come back around here, set up some of that. Maybe, wh what are we thinking? Some jungle logs in the corner? Really spice things up. <laughs> there we go. And then um, if I go back and grab some cobblestone walls, we can build it around there. <laughs> and, and you guys are going to pretend that this looks good, okay? And if you don't agree, well, Oh, I'll feel bad about it. All right, uh, hold on. This guy, mending, looting. That's good. Sure. Kelp. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Kelp. Emeralds. Hold on. Hold on. How many emeralds did he need? How many do we have? We've got three. <sighs> All right, that's fine. Yeah, you go there for now. I'll get ready for you later. Um, yeah, that'll look dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. Why not? <laughs> so does that mean the other guy despawned? We, we had another guy over here. Yeah, so I'm guessing he despawned. Um, ah, cool. Sweet. Nice. We got help. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Um, that sort of ruins the purpose of this area here, but we'll still make it. We'll make it complete. There we go. There it is. And sure, you can have your seven meshes. And you know what? This last mesh... I'm just going to get rid of, because why not? Um, cool. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I'll waterlog it as well. Because why not? Um, I should probably make an infinite water source over there, but I'll, I'll just do the two trips. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, and then I've got to actually make a kelp farm. Now, alternatively, I could just keep farming kelp. You know what I mean? As in like, um, uh, sieving for kelp, I mean, not farming it. Um, but we could also just, you know, actually farm it properly. Because kelp grows pretty fast. Obviously, that's sort of like the main the main perk of kelp and uh, bamboo. Um, but I'll have to make like a tubing system, right? Like some vertical thing. And, and that will look cool. My only problem, once again, is I don't really have uh, like non-stop building materials at the moment. Like if I come over here, can I do a flint block? A block of flint exists. Doesn't particularly look nice, but... I mean, I could build with it a bit. So I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll grab all this stuff out. Oh, oh, and we have an emerald waiting. Beautiful. I'll grab some of this out. And we'll go ahead and we'll make as many of this as it lets me. There we go. That sounds pretty good. 56 blocks of flint. Um, we'll come out here. Um, you know what? <laughs> hey, do we, uh, do we have any more dirt lying around? <laughs> No? Okay. Um, why did I build you there? What an annoying spot to build. Oh, my God. That's fine. Um, <laughs> we'll do... Uh, what am I thinking? I'm thinking a 3x3 three three of kelp. Possibly in the future having a create thing farming it. But at least at the moment, it's just going to be a me farming it thing. So 3x3 three three in the middle would look like that. Yep. Boom. We've got the towers going down. Ah, you know what? Hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Let me just, hold on. Let me just, let me just see. Um, um, events on this day. This isn't like a Memorial Day or something. It's historic events. Okay. We're good. We're good. If you missed that, nothing happened. Okay. We've got towers being built. Is what I meant to say, okay? <laughs> I I am sorry. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. <laughs> ah, anyway, anyway. Um, I think that's a nice design. <clears throat> um, and so we're also going to have like glass in some spots. Does this look any better than just not doing this? You know what I mean? Not having these side bits. I think it does. I'm going to pretend it does. Um, we do need a bit of glass. So I'm going to grab all that gravel. Um, I'm going to shift K it into compressed gravel and turn that into sand so we can obviously smelt that stuff up. Um, cool. 
Boom, boom, boom. You know what I need as well? I really do need um, a backpack that does tool swapping, but we don't have sophisticated backpacks. So I don't know if we have a tool swapper. If we have a tool swapper, um, please let me know because yeah, once again, that would actually be very beneficial. Um, this guy over here is going to smelt up our stuff. Oh yeah, we got copper for the lava. What was the lava for? The lava was for the obsidian generator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper for the lava, kelp for the lava. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, know what, I know what's happening. I'm catching up. Okay, whew. Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. The buildings are looking nice. <laughs> Things are happening. Structures are taking place. We're going to set up glass in this building. We are going to... The, the problem is I don't know where to place it. Do I place the glass here? Or do I place it still on the inside, but we just have these there for visual? I think I place it here because we then gain... An extra three spots on every side, which is pretty, pretty powerful for farming, you know, especially when we've got such a small farm we made here in this infinite world that I could have uh, taken advantage of. Um, and then I do want a door and I'm thinking we make it out of um, flint. So for example, um, we'll have a flint door here with glass, 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 and flint there. So flint door here. To top that off with our frame blocks will let us do that, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll quickly run back, put this stuff away. So um, I'll probably still need more of that. What, what can I even put away here? Osmium, copper. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now, as for this framed door, we can grab some of these cubes. I imagine. Oh, I imagine we'll need some more. What's that? Pickaxe. Cool. Um, search framed door. Awesome. He needs obviously three more cubes, which needs... Planks. Oh, we've got connecting planks. That makes sense. We'll turn this in jungle logs. Boom. Cubes. Boom. Boom. Door. Boom. We get a lot of doors. Framed iron door. Nope. We just want frame door door. Cool. And it will be made out of flint. Awesome. Uh, whoa. whoa okay. I mean, do we want any of these? Mining level diamond. Reach distance. A pretty nice helmet. Once again, the sword's pretty good, but we just don't have that many emeralds at the moment, so I'm not going to bother with it. Oh, we we'll get some leather. Yes. All right, so yeah, frame door goes here, and we go like that. Cool. Now, it looks a little bit weird obvi for obvious reasons, <laughs> um, but, you know, it works. If I really wanted to, I could have this be a door as well. In fact, I think the better design here, in terms of allowing the farm to happen inside would be to place this door here to make it flint and then having this door also here made out of flint. <laughs> and then maybe even placing a wall board there. L listen, listen, it's fun to just take a moment to try to make things look good. Okay. <laughs> um, so I think I can craft one. I may need the special tool the framed hammer, potentially. Let's go in here. Let's search frame wall board. This guy here. Yep, two of those makes us some wall boards. Awesome. Um, the rest of this stuff can go away. Cool, cool. And so the way this stuff works is it's a very thin block that you can do. In fact, you can do some cool, like I could place it here and then just have this not actually be a block. Like, check this out. So I place him here, there. Oh, actually, no, I probably, <laughs> I probably did need a, a thicker block. Okay. Well, well, there you go. I don't think we have any this side, unless I did a trap door. We do a trap door. <laughs> listen, listen, we are, we're evolving, okay? We're, we're learning. Okay, I need you. I am gonna need you to be that, which is a framed wall. No, a trap door. <sighs> Slabs, okay, that still might be doable. Um, we've got some slabs. I can make more slabs probably. Slabs, cool. Trapdoor. <laughs> okay. Are we good? Yeah, I could probably get rid of this other stuff. But yeah, I, I love me some frame blocks, okay? So I don't I don't feel bad messing around with them. Boom, boom, boom. Now it doesn't look as weird, right? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is our area. Obviously the grass is spreading. That will look nice when it is spread. This will be our kelp farm. Um, to pull this off, I believe I'm just going to be placing water and water pretty much all around this place and then planting kelp at the bottom. 
Um, now, in the perfect world, we would obviously have infinite water happening here, which, I mean, I can kind of do. I think kelp as well will actually make every block a source block once it starts growing. Um, every flowing block, that is. So we don't have to worry about that so much. It's more just making sure everywhere is placed. Obviously, this center bit's a little bit of a problem. Um, I think... Can you do... Like, is that, does this have water in it? Or can you make it have water in it? You can. Okay, so yeah. What we can do is I can have that guy there. We can do that and just sort of, you know, make that happen, I guess. There we go. Okay. Sweet. This looks nice. So I'll pick up all of, I'll float to the bottom, pick up those walls and pick up these walls. Try not to drown. We've got our kelp plants. We've got our kelp grown. Oh, is that cause I was like crouching or something? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh my, I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. Kelp is not a problem anymore in the slightest. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Sweet. So we can just collect all of our goodies. They should all float to the top, but once again, you know, it takes a little while. There we go. And that is plenty of kelp. Thank you. Now the kelp um can't just be bulk blasted. What we actually have to do is we have to um campfire it, essentially. So what we're probably gonna do here is I'm going to pick up this. Oh, I'm lucky that doesn't spread over there. Oh, that's not a log, that's a flint, yeah. Um, so, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this guy up and move him over one, place the lava back here, and this allows me to put a campfire in between for when we do wanna do that. So for example, I've got a sneeze coming, so just brace yourselves. Um, but if I can get away with not sneezing, and if I had three logs, I could do what I wanna do. All right, we can go campfire, boom. What's that? A spirit campfire, cool. Um, campfire. And we can go ahead and place this guy right... Um, we can place him right there, and then that should allow us to uh, cook all of that kelp there. And then I will go to sleep once it lets me. I guess I could stand near the that guy once he drinks his potion. Yep, there we go. That should be nighttime. Nice, nice little indicator we've got there. Um, sweet. So that should be good. We're going to have our kelp, eat some food. Good, good stuff on the horizon. Good, good, good stuff taking place. Um, so that's our kelp. Awesome. And so, oh, and we do have a backup log that I need to strip. We then need to go ahead and I need the engineer's hammer. So what am I doing? Chisel can go away. Um, that stuff can go away for now. Hammer. Copper. Um, two of you into plates. One plate onto this log. One ingot onto the log. Okay, sure. Um, and then combine all of these to make. Ba -ba 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 -ba, da -da -da -da. Oh, hose pulley. There we go. Cool. So this guy will allow us to make um, what we want. I'm going to place him. Uh, probably up one block. So for example, here, and then I'm going to break this. What I then need to grab is the hand crank. So I've got that guy in here. We made this guy on a previous episode. Hand crank is going to go onto this shaft and we're going to spin it. We're going to crouch and spin it and that will lower the pulley into the water. Then what we need, or the hose, then what we need is to, I believe, just extract the stuff from it. Now, I don't know if you need to use a create pump. You're still the same guy. Yep. Or if you can just use a fluid pipe, for example. Um, I'm probably going to try for the fluid pipe just because it feels like it's going to be a little bit easier, I would imagine. Um, fluid pipe will cost two buckets, some iron and some redstone. I've got the iron, I've got the redstone, and I've got two buckets on me. So there we go. Worthy sacrifice, I think. You put that stuff away. Cool. Put the clay away as well. God, no inventory. <laughs> um, and that should then connect there and be able to extract. We want it to extract into a stone barrel. Like so. 
Um, now, this is kind of a bad spot to put it. So I'll have to try and move this around a bit. So if I extract, is that gonna work? <laughs> yeah, it does. Beautiful. There we go, we've tapped the mantle. Sweet. Um, so, I just need water on top of this. So I need this to look nice enough to have water on top of it, I guess. Um, so, if I place I feel like this works, doesn't it? Hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, that's fine. If I place these around here, and then had something in the front, I guess I could just do this. Whatever. That can go there. Or I could... Uh, where, um, uh, what, what can I place on the front here <laughs> that doesn't look as hideous as, as it will currently look if I were to place water here? Um, it's a great question, isn't it? Because these just don't really work well with anything for that. I think what I could do is I might be able to make use of those, uh, the wall boards. If I grab three of these and place cobble in them, I think that may do the trick. For example, if I do this and this and this, and then place maybe even glass. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, so in theory, all I need is a bucket. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, beautiful bucket. I can't get out that way. I should probably just, I'd probably just make a staircase down there, expand in that direction. Um, now will this work? Can I place water on top of this guy? I can. And we now have obsidian. So the follow up would be obviously taking that obsidian out. And placing it somewhere. So I think what I'll do is I'll place a drawer here. So I'm going to go ahead and break this, break that, and break this. We're going to have item pipe, item pipe, item pipe, and drawer, and extract. And there we go. Um, sweet. And so yeah, that's just going to make what we want. Cool. Cool. And from this side, if I stand perfectly in front of it, I could probably, uh, I, I want to move this. Can we do that real quick? You reckon? If I just do like, um, what do you reckon? Do you reckon that'll just look better? <laughs> oh, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Who's putting the lava down there? Jesus. Um, oh, I've trapped myself. Da -da -da, that'll be fine. You go there. You go there, cool. And then I just go boom, 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 and then clean it up. Cool. I, I think that'll look nice. Sweet. I'd say, I'd say this looks a lot better. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got obsidian and as you can see, we've got it pretty fast. I'm going to grab out as much as I can. Um, I then want to turn all of these into void upgrades if possible. The only downside is that they need a draw each. So we're going to be making a lot of drawers to pull this one off. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I've got three currently. So what I can do, for example, is if we, are we making stuff yet? Do we have anything in here? We are making stuff, just I guess very slowly. I was gonna say I could place it on the flint and show you how that works, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I put it on here, he gets a little symbol, and now once he reaches his max inventory, he'll just void all the extra stuff. Um, we can look through here. The rest of the stuff's pretty even, except for it looks like amethyst we're gonna have a lot of. So I can chuck some on amethyst, and then, is there anything else that we think there's going to be a crazy amount of that we wouldn't mind voiding? Um, oddly enough, it looks like silver's our next highest. So, I guess we'll chuck it on there. Realistically, it's probably iron because we've been using a lot. Actually, yeah, we've... Oh, no. Oh, that's nickel. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, um, I don't know. Eventually, we're going to go through and place these on all of them. So, might as well get started. <laughs> Um, but that, that should actually be really good. That should keep us um, ahead of the game. Now, there is something else that some of you guys have probably already suggested this episode. Um, but I'm going to do it now to make your comment useless. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade the, the cobble gen. Because, I mean, clearly he can't keep up. This should be full. He's just making cobble. He doesn't have a hard, a hard life at all. Um, cobble gen. Let's go here. Tier 2. We'll just need cobblestone and lava and water. Guess what? We've got lava and we just need the rest of the stuff. Um, before I do the lava, I wouldn't mind a lava tank. 
if we can pull that one off. Um, so tank. <sighs> I want a tank I can interact with. Industrial foregoing is good. Oh, yeah. Do I not? Oh, if I don't need to actually use plastic for this, then I might just do that because I do like that. Yeah. Bucket, just a bunch of iron. Um, the, the pity thing, that's easy to make, right? Oh yeah. Oh, we're just, we're just going to smelt up some iron. Easy peasy. I'm going to grab out all that. Um, shift K, beautiful iron. I could duplicate this, but I think we're beyond that. I don't think I need to do, uh, I guess I've got Omni. No, I don't need to. I don't need to. I'll smelt the 16 first. Then when we're crafting with it, we'll chuck the other stuff in. I like a little kelp thing there. We've got lava. We've got obsidian. Yeah. Everything's going pretty good. Um, so I will try to upgrade that guy as much as we can before this episode ends so that we're getting plenty of cobble. Um, that way I can, you know, when I need sand, I can just easily do it. Um, it may actually be worth setting up a draw for gravel over there from that millstone. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to yoink that though, to be honest. I, I mean, I could just have a draw fill up with 2000 gravel and then continue from there. You know what I mean? We, yeah, we, we may do that. We may do that. Uh, we may not do it this... Oh, we may do it this... What are we at? 40 minutes? Yeah, we've done a lot this episode. Come on, mate. Six, there's only 16 of you. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I totally know what I'm doing. Um, You go there. Hmm. I mean, you guys see the problem, don't you? It's pulling, not pushing. I need this guy to push, which means I need the water to flow in the different direction, which we can do. So water's currently flowing, um, obviously the opposite direction. So I'm going to pick up the water. I'm going to place the slab. I'm going to place the water, replace this. And it is now blowing, which means that'll work. And still, when we put the campfire in the way, that will work too. So win, win, win. All's good. Yep. There we go. <laughs> How embarrassing. I was standing there for so long. Oh God. Um, what am I making? tank. I'm making a tank that needs four buckets. So two of you, beautiful. Um, we will need a block of redstone and we do not have, we, we do not have that. Redstone, I believe was sand or dust. Oh yeah. Uh, what actually is it? Hold on. This in the sieve gives not that. So it's dust. Okay. Let's shift K that. Cool. Boom, 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 boom. And I put the thing away. All right, we've got dust, just double check. Yep, dust in an iron mesh will give us some redstone. Beautiful, so I'm gonna chuck this guy in here. And that should work, yeah, cool. So we'll sleep, we'll check that chest when we wake up and we should have some redstone. We only needed, uh, I think like two, so that should be fine. Um, then we'll have a tank, then I can grab lava, then I can easily upgrade that guy over there. Bada bing, bada boom. The rest is history. So, we've got one, <laughs> we've got three, I think there's some more. We've got four. All right, well, I mean, sure. I <laughs> hope that's enough. Um, boom, there we go. Cool, block of redstone. So, um, yeah, tank, this tank here, we need a pity machine frame, which needs four logs. I did not see that coming for whatever reason. I think next episode we'll do the, um, the uh, modular router auto tree farm thing that we we're gonna do. I think that's probably the best bet. That goes there. Then we need an iron gear. That's easily done. We don't want an iron frame. Be careful when you craft this one. Use the little spinny thing to, to fix it. And then we just want one more piece of iron. Great. All right. We've got the iron and we now have our black hole. Now it ate our buckets. So I will need two more buckets at least to do what we have to do. This guy can go right here but we've got a wall board there so i guess i'll place him there that works too and he'll fill up with lava and as you can see he'll fill up very quickly about 100 millibuckets every tick so that would be um oh what would that be 20 i think that's two buckets a second is what that ends up being either way ta -da, and ta -da, and then we'll come over here and pick up this guy so hopefully we've got room in our inventory that should be fine i can pick him up with a pickaxe beautiful and I've got cobble on me. Wonderful. So he is now a tier two. I'm just probably going to keep going. You know, we've got the, the 
the rest of the stuff that we need on us. So we'll take this guy as far as we can. Next tier is probably going to be gold, I'd imagine. Uh -huh. Grab one of you, grab one of you, boom. So he is now iron tier, cool. Next tier is gold, which we can do. <laughs> that's that's doable. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Chuck that on there. That shouldn't take too long. Um, I guess I'll grab the, the good stuff while we're waiting. Ta-da. Um, now this stuff's going to make an insane amount. There is diamond tier as well, which we have. I mean, we've got enough diamonds for it. I may as well do it. Why not? So we've got the ingots. Cool. So this guy is now tier four. <laughs> sure. Um, let's just double check. Yeah, six diamonds. Sweet. One, two, three, six. Cool. Quick math. Grab you, grab you. And he's now diamond. Is there netherite tier? There is not. Cool. So we are maxed out the wazoo. We can now run over here and slap this guy down and see what he uh, has waiting for us. Yeah. <laughs> Faster than the pipe itself. Um, so if anything, we could actually upgrade the pipe. The main thing we would want to look at though, would be this guy here and see if he's getting more than he is making. So for example, if this gets to seven, then we're good. Yeah. Because all of this is made before it even creates one. Yeah, so we're fine on cobble. This will eventually, well, it's already backlogging, but the, you know, the entire system will fill up. The next step here would be putting in either some speed upgrades or even a factory tier upgrade on this crush to make him, uh, make him better. Yeah, cool. Um, so I'll tell you what, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> what did we actually do though? What, what, what happened here? Apart from making some stuff that looks pretty good. I, yeah, infinite, I mean, kind of just infinite, uh, infinite obsidian, which I mean, it's pretty good to get, to be honest. I'm, I'm happy about it. Um, because it allowed us to do what? Upgrades to our drawers. Um, we fixed up this system, so it's a little bit more expandable. We've got some, um, some kelp in a <laughs> questionable box here. I'm wondering how I can like pull this off. Like, I think what I can do if I really wanted to somehow make this look uh, good, I guess, would be to place framed boards here. Have them be glass, have these be glass. Then within that block there, we have frame boards on this side that are flint. You know what I mean? And I think you could sort of pull it off because it, it does look a little bit weird currently. <laughs> um, yeah. Arguably, if I remove that top block and just place a board up there, that could look nice as well. I don't know. I'm not sure. But hey, we've got some stuff. I can even, hey, look, waterlogged. Stuff. We got some kelp. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're still having fun with this series. Um, I know the series has been a little bit slow just because we've been alternating episodes, but I'm I'm pretty happy that I've been able to sort of keep up um, with the uploads for the most part. You know, there'll be a, a day or two missed, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. And, and I, I'm liking it. It's, it, it's, it is fulfilling a different um, gameplay... Uh, itch compared to the, 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 all the mods nine series we're doing, which it, it is a risk. I know when we were doing, um, I think possibly all the mods six and all the mods six to the sky. I think that was a thing. Maybe I'm thinking of all the mods seven, but I think it was all the mods six. It was sort of, they crossed over too much. Like I started doing pneumatic craft and then like on the sky, I was doing pneumatic craft and it's like, Oh, we're just doing the same stuff. But I, pff, I don't, I don't think we've even had a double up here to be honest. Um, we've been doing pretty good. Um, but it might reach that point. And if it does, not the end of the world. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what we're wanting to do if we're still having fun or not. But um, so far, it's actually, be, it's been really good. And on top of that, we haven't even touched on the quest for the most part. Like we've got some stuff here that we can redeem. Um, and we'll probably do that once we start working through mechanism a little bit more. Uh, because we don't even have mechanism in Old Ones 9 at the moment. I don't believe it's on that version of Minecraft. Um, at least I don't think so. Um, which means it, it is fun uh, having access to uh, mechanism because you mess around with it a little bit. Um, and obviously, yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff here. As you can see, it's, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot. We haven't even finished uh stage one, even though <laughs> I feel like we've done this, like we've automated hammering, sieving. We haven't automated compacting yet. And we've done all that. Well, I guess we did get a little bit of electricity, but, but we've done all that sort of like our own little different way. So that's been pretty fun. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you are having fun. Thank you to our donators and channel members. Thank you guys. Um, thank you to our tier three channel members. Thank you to Melizzi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you guys um, for helping out the channel. I believe as well, that a special occasion today. 
Let's have a look here. If we click, I am doing this off camera. Hold on. Just one second, one second. We have, where is it? I don't even know how to see it. I'm going to see, hold on. Oh, oh, first of all, welcome Lou. Welcome to the channel membership. They have joined, I think today it says zero days. They don't exist. Um, but where is he? V Rifty is currently sitting at 23 months. Oh, actually, so is Winter Coolest. Oh, who's going to hit it first? <laughs> I only realized um, V Rifty was doing it because he's like sending me messages about it. Um, we're about to hit our first two year channel members. Do you... I'll be honest. <laughs> I If you asked me if I'd been doing this for two years, I'd probably question it. I'd be like, um, yeah, maybe. I think we have. Not only have we been doing it for two years, but like you don't get channel memberships for quite a while when you start. And then on top of that, like someone has to actually <laughs> want to join. Um, but I, I think I, I set the prices pretty low because I thought like, hey, if you want to like be a part of, I guess, the, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to word it. I don't know. I just thought like, I always thought it was weird that like the lowest memberships when you looked at a channel were like crazy amounts of money. And it's like, I don't know. So some people want to just like, chip in a little bit, but they don't want to like sacrifice an arm and a leg. So it's like, I, I don't know. But e even then, like I, I say a little bit, but I mean, it's like a little bit every month, you know? So I you do not feel pressured. Do not feel obliged in the slightest to, to become a channel member or, or remain a channel member. But, um, but thank you guys. Thank you. And, and yeah, we've got our, our two year members coming up. So, um, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. I mean, on top of that, the, the problem with, <laughs> with celebrating the two years is that there's people that are just like a few months before that. And it's like, I mean, that, that you know, they deserve props as well. So um, thank you guys. I am uh, thinking about updating the badges. They're currently just shapes that I threw together in. <laughs> I think I made them in like Photoshop or something, but like I manually made them. And like, I'm a rookie. It could have even been paint, to be honest. <laughs> um, if you zoom in on those badges, most of them, if not all of them, are not like symmetrical. They're not the same sizes on each side. They're very wonky. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking of uh, using some like uh, AI image generation to make some actual cool badges for us and stuff. There there's some, I, I know there's some co cool stuff I can do. The problem is I'm not too sure how to go about um, like the best way to do it. For example, like I can make a cool image, but then how do I, how do I, uh, uh, make that image into something that works as like a little badge. You know what I mean? Like, do I just get images of circles <laughs> and make them look cool? And even then, like if we get a really cool badge, do I want it to be like modern Minecraft themed? And, and then how difficult is that to do? You know? Um, but I'll, I'll look into it when I get the, when I get the chance, which honestly may be like a few months from now, but, um, <laughs> and in saying that, pfft, yeah, good, good luck to see if it ever happens. But regardless, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.